YouTube. What's good, y'all? What is good? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. I sure, sure, sure appreciate you guys for stopping by one more time. I smell good family. What's good, y'all? Hopefully everybody's doing well and everything's going great in your lives. Positive energy and everything are just uh, overtaking you guys out there in the world, okay? All right, man, so we are back for our weekly rotation video. So as I've stated, um, on last week's video and probably the video before that, I am enjoying these more and more and more. And a lot of you are too. So a lot of the Smell Good family members hit me down in the comments and uh, they say, hey bro, keep them going. Like, we, we, you know, we wanna see these, man, keep them rolling. So I'm gonna keep them rolling, all right? I'm feeling good about it. Seems like you guys like it. So let's keep a good thing rolling, all right? So uh, we got uh, some, some really dope fragrances that we're going to roll through today the weather has been insane i'm pretty sure it's been insane all over the country it's it's cold one day and cool the next but then it's warm the next day then hot the next and it goes right back to cold it's just been a weird week of weather uh where i am in florida so like i said i'm pretty sure you guys are experiencing uh that as well wherever you are uh in the country all right so we got quite a few to get through let's go ahead and get started and uh, links for all these will be down in the description where you can get them from at a discounted price. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so on Sunday, Sunday was a work day, the end of my work week. All right, my schedule was all kind of loopy uh, with my job, um, but um, Sunday was the end of my work week. All right, so we rocked uh, this beauty right here that I'm enjoying more and more. We wore this to the office. Uh, casual days is, you know, what we do on Friday, Saturday, Sundays, we wore Versace's Eros EDP, the EDP. Uh, I said a while when I um, first got this fragrance, the orange and the vanilla, um, the dance that it does um, in the bottle that I have is tremendous. Um, I love this so much. Um, one of the members of Frag Boys, ENT, my guy said, really wanna fill in the EDP like that. So I took his bottle off his hand at the greatest discounted price you probably ever heard of. Appreciate you, my guy. So I got a backup bottle of this because this is something that I'm gonna be wearing to the office, believe it or not. Um, I don't see myself wearing this really nowhere else, I don't think, uh, but on Sunday to close out the work week, we roll with Versace's Eros, the EDP concentration. All right, and followed by that, you be, uh, once I got home, Sundays are the days when I get home from work, man, long week, I uh, kick back, shower, uh, grab me a glass of wine or you know, whatever probably my wife's drinking at home by the time I get home And I just plop down on the couch man and find me a nice uh, game to watch or a TV or chill and something and uh, And once I got the hot shower man, I said man, let's go ahead and get reconnected with this. We went with Masoni's all right, Masoni's Par Homme All right, so this one gets compared to Chanel Blue de Chanel, and you know, in my opinion, uh, the longer I've had this and sat with it, the further away um, it gets away from the, uh, if you if you wanna smell like Chanel, just get this, I don't think so. This reminds you of the Chanel DNA, but this ain't Blue de Chanel, all right, in my opinion, it's just not. But it's a great fragrance. You can get it for affordable price. Got mine off Amazon for like $30, $35 a year ago. And uh, I wanted to get reconnected with it, so I wore it out of the shower on Sunday. You know, lounge around the house and chilling, doing some editing, watching some basketball, and sipping on that drink <laughs> after a long week, for sure. So on Sunday, fresh out the shower, we wore Masoni's, Masoni's Pour Home, all right? All right, moving into Monday. Monday was an off day for me. Um, and typically on Mondays, man, I get up, take my son to school, uh, go to the gym and uh, just kind of run some errands and do things like that. So got a two-parter again. So on Monday, bright and early, 8, 8.30 in the morning. This is my go-to gym fragrance as of late from the house of Abercrombie and Finch. We got First Instinct together. First Instinct together. Really enjoy this stuff, guys. This is a uh, blend of uh, Invictus, but I get a little touch of the YSLY DNA as well, okay? so. I love it. It's not a long lasting fragrance. You, it comes off like it is when you smell off the atomizer, but you get about five hours out of this, maybe four. You know, you get about four hours out of this, maybe five. I really enjoy this for sure. Like I said, this is my go-to gym fragrance. I probably get about four or five sprays in, and then I go do my thing at the gym. So this is what I wore to the gym on Monday morning. Abercrombie and Fitch, first instincts together. All right, and then on Monday when I, oh, well, yeah, of course we're still talking about Monday. Monday when I got home from the gym, showered, had to go run some errands and take care of some stuff. 
I told y'all, man, I've really been on this uh, Aventus DNA uh, type of style. And, and I'm close to buying my first bottle, full bottle of Aventus. And it's not for hype reasons. I probably never review it on this channel. But it's just for sentimental reasons. And I love the DNA. And I have many copies of it. So on Monday, we went with Club D Nui's Intense Man, the EDT Concentration. The EDT Concentration. All right. Uh, this stuff is a beast. Didn't spray that many sprays. I was around the house, and then like I said, I had to run some errands. So I got about six six sprays off of this thing, and it lasts all day long. You already know what you get with this. You know, with the EDT, it says it has that harsh lemon opening, and it smells like lemon pledge. I don't get the lemon pledge, but I do get the sharp lemon that you get, uh, which is considered harsh. And then once this thing settles down, you get that birchy, smoky uh, type of Creed Aventus style, and uh, I really enjoy it. So on Monday, chilling and running errands, we went with Intense Man, the EDT. And you can still get a bottle of this for under $30 or right at $30 uh, on Amazon. I have all three concentrations, the EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum Special Edition. I mean, you can't lose either one. All right, so Tuesday, we headed back to work. Headed back to work on Tuesday, cold front had came through. It was very, very cool out. Wasn't cold, but it was cool out, but I kept it light. Well, not light. A lot of people don't have this, but I rocked this for sure. Back to the office. We wore Givenchy Gentleman's uh, EDT Intense. All right, the EDT Intense. This is the navy blue uh, bottle. So with this one, whew, good. This is a more, you know, fresher take uh, on the DNA. The iris is still present. Uh, for sure, but I really 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 enjoyed this one. Uh, this one is Slept on in my opinion. So you have two EDTs. You have the 2017 and then you have the EDT Intense Alright, so don't be confused by them if you're out there looking for them. I did get a few compliments on this and I had to shoot out some links uh, for a couple of fellas at the job and They were a fan of this. They were a fan of this and um, I'm a fan of it too. So we rocked this pretty pretty good on Tuesday back to the office. We got Givenchy's Gentlemen EDT and Tents. I think this is one of the more slept on ones uh, in the uh, Gentlemen line. All right, and then on Wednesday, we debuted a fragrance, first time wearing it. Uh, been meaning to wear, but I was just trying to wait for the right kind of weather, and uh, it paid off. It wasn't it wasn't as cool, a little light bite in the air, but then it kind of warmed up pretty quick from the house of Girl Lawn. All right, we got Lone Adial Cool. Cologne, yeah, cool. Um, as most of y'all know, this took the place of the cologne um, that I don't have and I want. But you get this cool mint vibe um, uh, up top. Got some tonka bean in here as well, kind of sweets and up. Uh, I really enjoyed the wear. I really enjoyed it. Got a couple of compliments as well. A couple of ladies around the office uh, really enjoyed it. They said it had really smelled nothing like that before. And then, you know, introducing that mint to this DNA, it kind of gives that. So wearing this to the office on Wednesday, uh, it was a hit, man, and I enjoyed it. And I probably a double bag very, very quickly and give this another run so I can get a full review out to you guys, anybody who's interested. Be careful though, when well, I be careful, keep in mind this may be on the chopping block for Guerlain. I'll get into a video on that at a later date, but Guerlain is making some changes and uh, this might be on the chopping block. You can still get it on Amazon for a decent price. So on Wednesday, we went through with Cool, Lom Adia Cool from the Girl Online, all right? On Thursday, had a short work week, um, the wife's birthday. Uh, by the time y'all see this, it's probably actually on her birthday, but the wife's birthday uh, was approaching, so I was preparing for that. I had to run some errands and, uh, you know, you know, make, trying to make sure her days, her weekend and her day is special. So on Thursday, running some errands, got out the house. It was rainy out a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. We went with Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Man, this stuff is excellent, man. I did the Versus video on Dior Sauvage and this, and like I said, I prefer this. The Brox is toned down a bit, the lavender is kicked up, smooth to finish, really enjoy this stuff right here. On Thursday, this was a win. I really enjoyed this stuff for sure. We went with Prada, Luna Rosa, Carbon. Carbon, great stuff, all right? Um, And on Friday, 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 man, I was introduced to another beauty from the house of Alexandria. I'm a real big fan of Nishanae's Hashiva, and Alexandria had their in, uh, inspired version of Hashiva, and they call it Hashivaj, and that's what I went with on Friday from the house of Alexandria. We got Hashivaj, all right? Um, this is about 95% accurate. 
The openings are a tad bit different from Hashibot and Hashibas, but once this thing starts to dry down, it's deadlock. 1A, 1B. Uh, you get that pineapple -y, bergamot type opening, and then you come down into that oak moss. And yeah, that oak moss, that oak moss is real prevalent here, man. And it's a real interesting fragrance. You're not gonna smell like everybody else. A lot of people, you know, kind of uh, compare this to Creed Aventus. I mean, I can see why because of the birchiness and the and the oak moss and the woodsy side of it. Uh, but this one right here is a beauty. Laugh all day long. You don't really need that many sprays, but y'all know me. Guillotine gang. Choke them out on Friday during the day. I also went to go see Sonic 2 with my son. And this is one. I went to the theaters. Got one compliment in the theater uh, from the young lady who was ticketing us in. I let her know what it was. And uh, she thought it smelled good. So that's always a plus. On Friday, we wore Alexandra's Hashivas. Hashivas. All right. On Saturday, to close out, uh, to close out the week, out and about all day long. Like I said, my wife's birthday um, was the weekend, and uh, we had a good time out and about, running around, doing our thing. So on Saturday, when we were kind of, you know, hitting the malls up and doing some stuff, I kind of revisited this beauty here, which I love from the house of Latafa. I wore amethyst, amethyst during the day on Saturday. Beautiful bottle. Spoke about this in a review before. Shout out to my dog, Jeremy from the House of Colossus. Shout out to Cuba Nose for really pushing me to take a chance and grab this. It's a beautiful rose fragrance. Uh, this is their interpretation from Initio's Atomic Rose. I have not smelled that, but I probably don't need to because I love this that much. Uh, fan favorite, Lady Killer. Fellas, look into this. You can get on Amazon for under $40. And um, it's great. It's really good. Beginner rose type vibes. Nothing crazy. The oud in here is very, very light. But uh, that rose and that vanilla and that amber, man, just for the bella. I don't even know what that means, but y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. On Saturday during the day, we went with Latafa's Amethyst. Love that name. And then on Saturday night, we have another Alexandra fragrance that we went to. I debuted this as well. Um, I love... Perfumes de Marley Oja, all right? And I saw that Alexandra had a, a version of it and I ordered it and it's crazy, all right? So on Saturday night out to dinner, cold out, in the 40s out, out here where I am, we went Alexandra's Apple Crumb. Apple Crumb. As you can see and as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of the Alexandria line and they nailed it. A buddy of mine said, like a uh, Frank Boy ENT member, he has the Ojan. He came by the house, we were kicking it. He smelled it and he was blown away, like stuck, paused. 1A, 1B. My man's got a bottle on the way. This stuff is potent, it's strong, it's it's very, very, very beautiful. You got that cinnamon and that honey. Mm. Review coming on this as well. But on Saturday night, out to dinner with family and friends to celebrate the wife's birthday, we wore Apple Crumb from the house of Alexandria. Love this stuff. All right, guys. So that was my weekly rotation for this past week. I believe the past week was April the 4th. <laughs> I think, you know, I'd be forgetting. April the 4th. Um, really bad. Yeah. I think it was April the 2nd or April the 4th. I don't know. Y'all got to do better with this. So Fridays. Yeah. So April the 2nd. April, excuse me, April the 3rd through April the ninth that was horrible all right so gonna wrap up the video uh links will be down below like comment subscribe if you have not if you want to become a member of the smell good family that's all you got to do meet me down in the comments let's talk about what you love and what i love and that's fragrances we're over 900 subscribers knocking on the door to 1000 man i'm hyped about that appreciate y'all and until the next fragrance video video you guys be cool be safe what did you wear last week what did you wear today let me know down below. Let's talk about it, guys. All right, y'all. Be easy.